Hi, this is Alex Degg with eXp Realty and another neighborhood tour. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Mary Hill Estates, which is towards the east side of St. Matthews in the Louisville area. Now, if you have any more questions about Mary Hill Estates or Louisville real estate in general, feel free to give me a call, email, or a text anytime. I will put all of my information in the description below. So in this tour, we're gonna to be talking about location, drive times, distances, amenities, what's around there, parks, everything you need to know for a first quick glimpse of Mary Hill Estates and what it's like to live there. First thing I wanna talk about is Mary Hill Estates and Louisville in general and its distance. So it is towards the northern side of Kentucky and it is really well positioned as in a lot of bigger cities uh, in the nearby area. So you could go to Cincinnati in under two hours, you've got Nashville in under three, St. Louis in under four and Chicago in under five. So in any which direction you wanna to go to, you've got another city that you could even go to for a day trip. There are lots of ways to get around Louisville. Uh, the main access that you're gonna be using is probably to be Brownsboro Road. Uh, that runs all the way from downtown to the outskirts of Louisville. That also takes you to 264, which is gonna be a loop around the city. And then you also have such as the busier roads like uh, Shelbyville Road and Bardstown Road, which are easily accessible from that location. Getting to some of the other places in town is quite convenient as well. So you've got the airport, which is only 15 minutes away. You've also got downtown, which is about 15 minute drive. And then also Churchill Downs, which is a 15 minute drive too. Outside of driving, Louisville does offer quite a lot of transportation options. So there is a bus route which is nearby. And I think the closest stop is about a 20 minute walk from Mary Hill Estates. There also is Uber and Lyft, which is fully available. And then there is a taxi cab service. There are some more smaller private options, uh, but anywhere you need to go to, you've got an option to get there. Louisville's a very green city, so being in that location, you want to know how close it is to certain parks. So you've got the Crescent Hill Golf Course really close by, St. Matthew's Community Park. You also have access to Cherokee Park, which is about a 15 minute drive. And then towards the other side of the city, you've got Iroquois Park, which is about a 25 minute drive. Shelbyville Road is just one mile away from that neighborhood. And Shelbyville Road is going to give you access to everything you might need for shops, restaurants, bars, anything you wanna do, even some activities around that road, that's gonna be where you're probably gonna spend most of your time uh, within just a very short drive. If those don't quite fit your needs, then also there is the outlet mall, which is just a 25 minute drive from that area. There's also great access to grocery stores in the area. So within a two mile radius, you've got a Kroger, Walmart, a Target, Trader Joe's, and then a whole bunch of smaller private ones, which are more specific, such as different cultures and different cuisines. I'd say Louisville is a very health conscious city. So that gives you a lot of options for getting your exercise in. All within a two mile radius of Mary Hill Estates, you've got about 15 different fitness opportunities you can take advantage of. There's gyms, there's yoga studios, boxer size, cycle bars, uh, orange theory, anything you might need that's gonna be close by. Outside of that, there's even more options that you can take advantage of. There's a lot that Mary Hill Estates has to offer, uh, especially for its location to a lot of amenities that Shelbyville Road has. Now, if you wanted to do some more research, I'd definitely recommend doing like a Google Street View and seeing exactly what's around there. If you need more information about the housing market there, I've got my information in the description below. You can reach at any time and I can give you an update of how the market's doing and which houses may be for sale. To finish out this quick tour of Mary Hill Estates, I've got two driving tours which you can watch, one from the front view and one from the side view. That's gonna give you a good idea of what it looks like and the houses that are in that area. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you on the next one.